as well. Trudy McIntosh out the front of the White House. We'll be live to her in a moment. And we've got Joe Biden's home in the state of Delaware, one of his homes, which is where he is believed to be at the minute while he is continuing to recover from COVID. And also the Vice President Kamala Harris's residence. There had been a few messages of support for her campaign, which just in the past few moments have fallen down. Perhaps that's not a sign of things to come for her anyway. She'll be hoping for some better news on that front. Anyway, we've got reporters live in the US. Annalise Nielsen, she's in DC for us. Trudy McIntosh, as I mentioned, outside the White House. Let's start with Annalise. So as we mentioned a little earlier, uh, he was digging his heels in. Annalise, as much as two, three hours before that official statement came early this morning, he wasn't going anywhere, but something changed. Yeah, look, all of those calculations changed after that disastrous presidential debate. It really became untenable, but it took a while for Joe Biden to accept this, obviously. And then in the meantime, they lost a number of major donors saying that they weren't going to put any more money in. They needed that to keep up with Donald Trump. So this just became almost a foregone conclusion. But there's no real blueprint for how this is all playing out. We've never had a presidential candidate pull out this close to an election, the fact that the primaries have already taken place and they're just a month out from the Democratic National Convention. This is throwing everything into chaos. What we've seen from Kamala Harris is she's accepted his endorsement saying she is going to run. She says, on behalf of the American people, I thank Joe Biden for his extraordinary leadership as president of the United States and for his decades of service to our country. I'm honored to have the president's endorsement and my intention is to earn and win this nomination. I will do everything in my power to unite the Democratic Party and unite our nation to defeat Donald Trump and his extreme Project 2025 agenda. If you're with me, add a donation right now. So they're already back into getting those donations. They know they need them. But there's no guarantee Kamala Harris is going to be the candidate. We understand from local reporting that she's already called in colleagues in the Congressional Black Caucus and the Congressional Hispanic Caucus to shore up support. She's going to need all those delegates on the floor to back her, they're not obliged to support her at all just because Joe Biden has passed on that endorsement. 